What on earth is he doing? I'm moving about. What's the matter with you? Oh look, a tailor. What you get? Pouches, large medicine pouch. I'll take that. Large poison vial. I'll take that. Knife belt upgrade. Sure. That's it. Die. Let's go with Masya Flight. Why <laughs> are you climbing backwards? This is how you climb. Why would anyone carry on like that? Uh, excuse me. Thing I can buy. Yeah, buy that. Hagia Sophia. I now own Hagia Sophia. Yay! <laughs> also, need to make new bombs. Into that one. Nothing. Uh, hi. Yeah, Sophia's bookcase, bookshop. Well, I see you're keeping watch, which is good. Prince Ahmed has threatened to help Sophia find a protector. Kill five girls in close combat without getting hit. Okay. Yeah. Sheesh. Did you escape into the... Yusuf? Ah... Uh... Brother Raguies Katimbache. Oh, Yusuf. <clears throat> Brothers, sisters, the whole city rises against us while Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal, laughing. Fight with me. And show him what it means to cross the assassins. Not even gonna look at the note. Why are they fighting each other? <laughs> Find and kill Ahmed. Yeah, I know about the assassin signal. I'll use it when I need to. What's the easiest way in? And can't I just shoot him? Hmm. No. Can 
God damn it. God damn it. Never lane. Okay, we're going in for the front door. Well, I have all of the assassins, okay. people oh yeah by the way I need new bombs no so shard hang on a second slight detour okay let's go in nasty oh, I want an impact shell with a big explosion and yeah let's let's uh, let's do shrapnel tactical impact shell big explosion lamb's blood lamb's blood the version pouch, impact shell, the uh, fuel shell, uh, Indian gunpowder, and decoy. Modify this one and make it a sticky pouch. Okay. No, I'm good. What is that? <coughs> Climb it, God damn it. Get away! Sheesh! He's getting away! I have a place, places to be. Give it the kill. Come, let me disembowel you. What? What happened? Your time is up, You double it again. 
But the pieces are far beyond your grasp. You have been a thorn in my side, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where is she? <laughs> Such fury. Where is she? If you think you are in a position to negotiate, kill me and be done with it. That's not how it works. That's not how negotiation works. I am sorry it had to come to this. Two men who should be friends, quarreling over the keys to a library. We both strive for the same end, Ezio. Only our methods differ. Do you not see that? Peace, stability, a world where men live without fear. Men and women. People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? Liberty can be messy, Ahmed. But it is priceless. Of course. And when things fall apart, and the lights of civilization dim, Ezio Auditore can stand above the darkness and say proudly, I stayed true to my creed. Screw you. I will open that library. And I will find the Grand Temple. And with the power that is hidden there, I will destroy the superstitions that keep men divided. Not in this life, Ahmed. Bring the seals to Galata Tower when you are ready. Do this, and Sophia will be spared. My brother's army will be here soon, Ezio. After that, everything changes. Well, what do you have to say? How long have you been here? Long enough? I had Ahmed tell as soon as he returned. But I never expected to hear all this. And what do you think? He is a sincere man. But this Templar fantasy of his is dangerous. It flies in the face of reality. The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. A just leader would celebrate this, mm -hmm. not seek to unravel it. He fears the disorder that comes from difference. That is why we make laws to live by. A kanun that applies to all in equal measure. Shastadem! Stand back! Hold, soldier! This man is not our enemy. What a challenge it would be to have a son like you. <laughs> you are not dead yet, old friend. It's you. Spare my uncle if you can. Would your father? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, let's go. I can use some more bullets and crossbow bolts. And medicine. And throwing knives. So it's just so cool to just have all the assassins whenever I want. Wait, wait, fragment. Is it what I think it is? <laughs> yep, it is. <coughs> Where the hell am I going? What was the exit? Fine, I'll find my own exit. Climb. 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 Climb, thank you. <coughs> Damn it. Oh, there's another one. Great.
Things got a bit destroyed around here. you with a crossbow. the building. I don't think it did anything. Yeah, never mind, I'll just use medicine. Easy. Oh, hello. Isn't that dangerous? <laughs> what is that? It's up there, isn't it? There they are, okay. No, nothing? Start the memory <coughs> like this. So they say, why not try it, huh? I'm sure. All tight. My need is much greater than you. By the Virgin, I saw sweat. <laughs> It's on the other fucking side of the island. 
need a boat. Don't let him escape! Come on! Okay, now that we're done, let's go to Galata district. Even the right way, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll make it work. <laughs> Broken his leash. Uh, yeah, but what about the landmarks? Still missing eight. A profitable pleasure. A profitable pleasure, okay. I also meant kitchen necessity. Yeah, of course. This doesn't then. Exchange. Collect the mass of keys and deliver them to Ahmed to save Sophia. Rescue Sophia before she loses 50% health. Your fellow assassins to ensure your safety during the exchange. Okay. <laughs> I jumped on your face. What's going on? Oh. Now should be a time for remembrance and mourning. I know, but our enemies do not permit us that luxury. Yusuf thought highly of you, assassin, and I find no reason to second-guess this judgment. Do you have it in your heart to lead these men and women and to maintain the dignity of our order as Yusuf did with such passion? It would be an honor. It's nice, could have been Bene. I am glad. Our enemy is close. 
Take positions around the tower and wait for my command. And hide very freaking well. Meet with Ahmed. Galata Tower. Take your head seriously. The first viewpoint of Constantinople. Oh, it's over there. How did you expect me to get here? There's no other way except climbing. Where is she? I admire you, Ezio. But your bloodlust makes it hard to call you a friend. Bloodlust? A strange insult from the man who ordered an attack on his own nephew. He was to be kidnapped, Ezio. Not killed. I see. Kidnapped by the Byzantines so that his uncle could rescue him and be heralded a hero. More or less. Now, the keys. Sophia first. First, the girl. <laughs> She's all yours. Sophia! Tell your men to back off. She's all yours. Follow them. I'll rescue Sophia. Climb the tower. I climbed this tower in 60 seconds. Come on, come on. Of course. I'm walking on it. Working on it. Oh, she's here, okay. <coughs> Are you hurt? I could have done that better. Not not hurt, but very confused. I did not mean to drag you into this. I am sorry. <laughs> you are not responsible for the actions of other men. All this will be over soon, but I need to recover what they have taken. I do not understand what is happening, Ezio. Who are these men? No, Run! Don't explain. Go, take a horse, get away. I'll find you. No? Okay. Doing the horse thing again. End of the road. Ahmed is leaving the city with the five massive keys. Catch him before he escapes. Kill 20 guards. We are close. Keep steady. Well, well. You have come to see me off.
Get away. Steal to deal damage. I'm going too fast, I think. No, this way. Hang on a second. Uh, okay, not really that urgent. Wait, did you count how many? No. Hold on. Ah! Come Hang on, on really? Look out. Ezio. Well, we're at it. Prince Ahmed, by the time he was a young man, Prince Ahmed was already the presumed heir to the Ottoman Empire, having been chosen by his own father, Bayezid II, to assume the throne. To many, this made perfect sense. Ahmed was a grateful and loyal son who shared his father's distaste for war and his affection for esoteric knowledge. But to others, those who viewed Ahmed's trait as weakness, he was a sad symbol of the dwindling power of the Sultanate, and as such, he appeared to many Ottoman officials to be incapable of adapting himself to the requirements of the throne. The Sultan's own Janissaries were quite vocal about their dislike for the would-be Sultan and openly questioned his fitness as a leader. Would he protect the Empire as was his duty? Would he wage war against the Mamluks to the south and the Safavids to the east? Would he expand the boundaries of the Empire as God had decreed? The Janissaries wanted positive answers to these pressing questions and had no faith that Ahmed would provide a satisfying answer. At some point, Around 1510, Ahmed's youngest brother Selim, with the silent support of the Janissaries, made an overt bid for the throne, marching a small army towards Constantinople, expecting to meet little resistance. To Ahmed's great relief, his father Bayezid stopped in, stepped in to stop Selim's advance, but the old sultan was sickly and, as many people thought, incapable of sustaining an internecine war as mad and tragic as this one was shaping up to be. Okay, so... Your time has come, Assassin! Woohoo! Help! Are you hurt, Sophia? I don't think so! Hold on! Obviously! Come on! Ow. Oh no! God damn it! Damn it! Ow! Ow. Va bene. I am all right. Oh, thank you. Soldiers, up ahead. I see them. Come on, come on. Kill him too. Who else? Who else? Nope. Make sure you drive this freaking thing! Forgive me! Sophia, you must be careful! No, I know! Steal yourself, Sophia! More soldiers! Come on, come on! Don't you love the Italian countryside? Faster! Uh, follow him? Ow. Ow. Out 
Get the rope! What are you doing? Everything's fine. Keeping us on track. <laughs> this oh hurts quite Please a bit. Move. Um, we're going in circles. Your determination would be charming if it was not so infuriating. I'm walking on it. You're banging me into walls. Oh, what? Incompetent children! Where did you learn to fight? Okay, Sophia. Hey, it's your look. What? You have been a thorn in my side long enough. Oh, go ahead, you I'm fine. Cut the cable. Oh look, we're in a <laughs> we're in a graveyard. Does this end? I am wondering that myself. Well, your nephew asked me not to kill you. Oh! Soldiers! Tell him he's not your master! You serve the Sultan! You carry out his command alone! Where is he? Where is the Sultan? He stands before you, brother. Father made his choice. Help! Stop! 
this! Ah! Okay. So, you are the assassin. Ezio Auditore. I am Selim, Suleiman's father. He speaks quite highly of you. He is a remarkable boy with a magnificent mind. Were it not for his endorsement, I would have you killed where you stand. Leave this place. Do not return. <laughs> Um, there's a bit of a desync there. You did the right thing, Ezio. This is not your fight. But where does one end and the next begin? Well, if you kill the Sultan, you still don't be able to return. Off to Masyaf. Priorities. Bill! Good to see you! Listen, we've got a customs officer waiting to talk to everyone. I hope you have something for us. Absolutely. Passports and papers for Fancy. everyone. Ah, brilliant. So I'm... I'm what? A neurosurgeon now, am I? You're a medical team from SUNY Upstate. Just back from Rome with your patient. Experimental gene therapy. Good work. Let's get this over with. What? Wait, look. This is crazy. What's wrong? I'm not sure, but Desmond's brain is lighting up like a string of firecrackers. What does it mean? What does it mean? Oh, it's your didn't never never went Here it comes. What is that? What's going on? This is the end, Desmond. Scheduled for deletion. What are you doing? What is a man but the sum of his memories? We are the stories we live, the tales we tell ourselves. Don't do this. I'm saving you, idiot. Go! Go! Okay, go. I write these lines with a steady hand and a light heart. We are in Ak right now, Sophia and I, with the five Masyaf keys in our possession and all the time in the world. Sophia is a seasoned traveler and a fine companion to have so far from home. Tomorrow we will make our way to Masyaf, and once there, into Altair's library, to fulfill our father's forgotten dream. Forgive the shortness of this letter, dear sister, for it is late and we are tired. Perhaps, with luck, the next words you hear from me will be in person. Con affetto, Ezio. Back in Masyaf. A homecoming. Ezio and Sophia have arrived at Masyaf after many weeks of travel. Time to open the library. Before I do that, quick break, and I'll be right back.
Okay. Over here. Such a climb. Yep. È così bello qui. This is where your order began? It began thousands of years ago. But here it was reborn. By the man you mentioned, Altair? Altair ibn Laahad. He built us up and set us free. He saw the folly of keeping a castle like this. It had become a symbol of arrogance and a beacon for all our enemies. And the mandate for menacing hoods? Was that his idea as well? <laughs> you mentioned a creed before. What is it? Nothing it's is true. true. Everything, Everything is, is permitted. permitted. That is rather cynical. It would be if it were doctrine. But it is merely an observation of the nature of reality. To say that nothing is true is to realize that the foundations of society are fragile and that we must be the shepherds of our own civilization. To say that everything is permitted is to understand that we are the architects of our actions and that we must live with our consequences, whether glorious or tragic. Do you regret your decision to live as an assassin for so long? I do not remember making that decision. This life, it chose me. Come, For three help. decades, I have served the memory of my father and my brothers, and fought for those who have suffered the pain of injustice. I do not regret those years, but it is time to live for myself, and let them go. To let go of all of this. Then let go. You will not fall far. You will get you. Hmm. It's still a puzzle. What do you think? The end of the road. <sighs> yeah, it's a puzzle. What do you hope to find behind that door? Knowledge, above all else. Altair was a profound man and a prolific writer. He built this place as a repository for all his wisdom. He saw many things in his life and learned many secrets, both troubling and strange. Knowledge that would drive lesser men to despair. Does that worry you? Sophia, okay, no. you should know by now that I am not a lesser man. Ezio. How the hell do I know? Did Altair leave behind any clues? Perhaps something only those with heightened senses can see. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, let's start with the big one, the four. The fog only fits here. Like that. The three can fit here. The two fits here, the two fits there, and the one fits there. Uh huh. You had better come out of there alive. I plan to. You haven't had any children yet.
Whoa. It's all empty. The library is empty. Absolutely nothing there. No books. No wisdom. Just you, fratello mio. I think they just left him now. Requiescat in pace, O Tayer. Ah, yeah, the gun. The blade with the gun. Darim and Seth, the sons of Altair ibn Lahad and Maria Thorpe, born in 1195 and 1197 respectively. Both were raised, as Altair was, at Masyaf, trained to be assassins by their father and diplomats and men of honor by their mother. But unlike Altair, who spent most of his early years separated from his father as part of Al Mualim's training, Darim and Seth. Didn't I already read that? Yeah, I think I did. To my books. Yes. Some we sent with the polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Oh. Good. Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It yes. must stay hidden, Darim. Far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. Oh. So, where is it? If much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. What does it tell you? What do you see? Strange visions and messages of one who came before, of their rise and their fall. But what happens to us, Altair? To our family, what does the apple say? Who were the ones who came before? <clears throat> what brought them here? How long ago? Get rid of that thing! In the this end. is my duty, Maria. Yes. <clears throat> if you are asked, Say I sent the apple away. Tell them I sent it to Cyprus or Sipango or that I dropped it into the sea. Tell them anything to keep men away from this place. This apple must not be found. Not until the time is right. Sit for a moment. <laughs>
Nice cut. I got the message. Another artifact. No. You will stay here. I have seen enough for one life. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. And now it lingers in my mind. Like an image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. But I know you are listening. I have lived my life as best I could. Not knowing its purpose, but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. That I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we, who have been so blessed to share our stories like this? To speak across centuries? Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. Now, listen. Do you hear me, Cypher? Can you see me? place this nexus of time I am not used to the calculations that has always been Minerva's domain I see you still have many questions who were we what became of us what do we desire of you you will have your answers only listen and I will tell you how both before the end and after, we sought to save the world. We built vaults within which to work, each dedicated to a different method of salvation. They were placed underground to avoid the war which raged above, and also as a precaution should we fail in our efforts. Each vault's knowledge was transmitted to a single place. What? It was our duty, mine, Minerva's, and Juno's, to sort and sample all that was collected. We chose those solutions which held the most promise and devoted ourselves to testing their merits. Six we tried in succession, each more encouraging than the last. Why not the other way around? Word. And then the world ended. Should you try the best one first? What happened? Were you hit by an asteroid? Follow flower? Follow flower.
Did you have shelters? Didn't you see a solar flare coming? Too much glass. Why didn't we find anything? Oh, that's extreme. for weeks, and when the ash had settled, less than 10,000 of your kind still lived, and far fewer of ours. But we carried on, together, to rebuild, to renew. Listen, you must go there, to the place where we labored, labored and lost. Take my words, pass them from your head into your hand. That is how you will open the way. But be warned, much still remains in flux, and I do not know how things will end, either in my time or yours. Finland? What the hell is this? Wait, look, his vitals are stabilizing. Something's happening. He's, he's moving. Hi. Desmond, can you hear me? Son? I know what we need to do. Okay. Well, we're there. Revelations. Oh, that's the end. Okay, that was gonna be another section. That was gonna be a Desmond section. Oh well. Up, up, up. What's he? Up. <laughs> Alma. Alma. Come on down. Okay, so I have a few other games I want to play in the meantime, but I'll install Assassin's Creed 3. Because it was an old game, but the stuttering was awful. It shouldn't have happened. I have a, enough of a beast PC. And it was, I think, less annoying. Oh, the island. I think it was less annoying than 
uh, Brotherhood, but the, the tower defense sections were completely unnecessary. Why does this guy on the island look so much like Altair's son? And I'm actually intrigued. So I have a few games I want to play before we get to the next one, like The Witcher and Doom. But I'll we'll download the next one, so it'll be in the line on the list. Gary Jason Ing Tho Hing John Delancey, I think that was his name. Uh, played the father. Masao Kobayashi, lead community developer. Lots of studios, lots of credits. So if you like this, uh, follow me on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Saber Runner, always. And the uh, final review will come out on the bottom line on Facebook. Hmm. to skip the credits but this was very long and the background is repeating Oh well. I kind of want to skip it. I don't feel disrespectful. Back Singapore. <sighs> so many people. Willy Wong. <laughs> Oh, 
Is Singapore the last one? Danish version. Voice direction. Voice talents. Voice talents. Oh, that was for the other versions. Hmm. Quality check. Japanese. Korean. Norwegian, Polish, Russian. I think it's by alphabetical order. Swedish. Check. Montreal a whole heck of a lot of people. Music, just for kid. Music usually comes at the end, right? This is remote control productions. Brand. <coughs> oh, crap.
I missed something important. This is massive. Okay, that's it, I'm skipping. <coughs> Can I finish the island? Okay, but how do I just go to the island? I guess I'm not. Okay, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. See you later.